While you are waiting for my big serious video, it's take time and resilience, in this small video I will show you how Ukrainians are getting this resilience, how with the help of the animals we are healing our souls and minds. Hi friends, how are you doing? Welcome back to this vlog and I hope it will be also healing for you. While visiting these beautiful two huskies, the huskies of my friend Carrie, we decided that it's not enough for us and sign up for the horse riding. Do you remember Ilya had a birthday? He received a coupon on horse riding as a present and it was time to use it. I'm inviting you on the suburbs of Lviv to horse ride with us and witness how nature is starting to blossom. Wow, look Americans, I found turkey for you. Actually, he looks entitled and had an attitude. He was trying to show me that I was not welcome to film him. Probably he was trying to protect his lady. And I know that some folks by watching this video can ask very reasonable question. Why the heck we are not spending our free time in more mindful way and not doing the things that can help our soldiers in the war time? Yes, we are trying our best to do it and my content creation is also serving to this purpose. But it was the Sunday morning after the missile attack on Lviv that made by Russians and we were extremely overwhelmed and frustrated and felt that our mental state needs a bit healing. And war, in my opinion, is a marathon. And sometimes you are jogging on the distance really slowly and accumulating the strain to carry on tomorrow. That this was one of those days. Guys, I guess I found it. Before going to this horse riding center, I have read that horses can help people become not only better riders, but better partners, friends and heal our mental wants. The horse's extraordinary ability to read unique body language translates to human as well. You may think you are acting normal, but if you are angry, impatient, grieving, stressed or worried, your horse will know. Horse will always see, feel and respond to your emotional state. This little creature understood that I was frustrated and anxious that day, so he generously stood still when I was trying to pet him, and he felt that I was trying to be gentle with him, so he tolerated me. Spoiler alert! We had an amazing experience. It was my second time on the horse and I needed a guide who could hold horse for me because I was too afraid to do it myself. I think if my horse could roll her eyes as Tony Stark, you know, she would do it. Yes, I will not be casted for Yellowstone. Ilya's horse, also a girl, was quite lazy, maybe because this horse was empathic. Ilya is quite a sleepy person, to be honest, especially when it's raining outside. What I'm talking about? His last name translates like Dosi, the person who likes to sleep. The guide lady was 15 years younger than us and already has been doing horse riding from the age of 4. When my husband stuck with the horse in the forest, she even needed to help Ilya to pull the horse because he was too afraid to hurt the horse with legs. I think if we had a dog, this dog would manipulate us as little kids because we are too gentle for a dog. And our cat actually could do everything he wanted, jump everywhere he wanted, eat wherever he wanted. Okay, this is precisely what he is doing at my mom's house. Do you have any tips how to make your cat more humble? I'm joking. I also read that healing bond between humans and horses is remarkable proof of the power of animal companionship. These gentle creatures actually saves humans from PTSD, exactly what Ukrainians need now, addictions and trauma by offering a presence, reflection, trust building and empowerment. In the end, I'm doing it myself, without an instructor. Yay! Come on, Kate. I felt relieved, refreshed and loved when I was hugging this creature and I'm grateful to my horse. Even Ilya felt additional strain and energy in his body, so guys, if you ever have an opportunity of horse riding, do not miss this unique and worthy experience. Your mental health will be grateful. 
Guys, thank you for dedicating some time for reviewing this vlog till the very end. I know it was very small and insignificant. However, I'm working on the bigger and better vlog for you about volunteering. So make sure you are staying on the channel. Thank you. And in the end of this video, I just wanted to say you where I put donations that you sent me on Buy Me A Coffee. This channel helps my friend from the military unit to receive tires for his baby. <laughs> This is a car for their unit that they are using as a supplement transport when they moving from town to town. It's very old but also need tires. And my uh, husband has already purchased these tires and I will keep you updated once my friend will receive it. And also my friend Eugene, the military mechanic, needs new summer military boots. So if you want to contribute, believe me, there is no small donation. Every dollar is saving situation. If you want to help me to buy him these boots, please proceed to description of this video and find my buy me a coffee page and donate your five dollars and write a comments for boots. I will keep you updated regarding these boots, when we purchase it, when we send it, how much money have they spent on the boots. And once my friend receives it, I will put photos in community page. So thank you guys for your help and support and love. I appreciate it and I feel blessed to have you. Bye bye till the next video.